and i'm going to be showing you how to get a reflection black color back black color background all right so let me remove the laptop from here now we need a good mirror a stainless steel mirror would suffice and i'm going to be keeping my subject on the uh platform i'm going to be taking my twin flash again so you all can see what i'm talking about because this is this this thing that i'm going to be doing right now is really important for all of us to understand my next thing is how to get a black color background and a reflection at the same time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down at the level of my prosthesis like this all right so that i am almost tangential to the prosthesis right so if you want a good reflection all right this angle is to be avoided you can see it over there itself this is not a great angle to be working at because the reflection doesn't come out to be so good all right so if you want a glamorous looking reflection my suggestion would be to go as tangential as possible this is a great direction for getting a good reflection on the mirror so with this you're going to get a black color background as well as a beautiful looking reflection so let me go ahead and see why we are going to get a black color background is again the same reason the light is just going to go in front and is not going to come back to us so that's how we we ending up getting an amazing looking black color background before that i probably want to clean my mirror once with a microfiber cloth of course because we don't want any dust particles to be on it <coughs> okay all set i just have to hold my uh, macro lens uh, you can appreciate i don't know if you can see but i'm holding the other end of the lens that's the far end of the lens with my thumb so that i don't shake a lot when i'm shooting so i'm from taking the support of this table uh, and i'm supporting my lens as well at the same time so that's the basic um uh, setup that you want to have for a uh, black background with a reflection so as soon as i get as soon as i get uh, it in a little bit sharpness i'll go ahead and i'll take the shot okay so yeah let's see what is going to happen now you can appreciate that on the anterior aspect i can see the margin of the mirror so there's a high chance that i'm going to get a margin in my picture as well so i've become too tangential that's the problem that has happened so if you are too tangential you need a bigger or a wider platform but since my platform is pretty small i need to compromise on the angle a bit so i'm going to angle it slightly so that the margin is not seen and you got to keep the mirror on the edge of the table so that the table is also not recorded so yeah my table might not come in the picture now and i would probably get a black color background with a reflection yeah let us have a look at how the picture is <coughs> i come over there and get the tripod in front so you all can see the result of what we just shot so let me go behind and show you the image yeah this is the last image that i shot Okay. Yeah, can I appreciate this? Let me. Yeah, can you appreciate that we've got an amazing looking reflection? Uh, that's because of the mirror and the main prosthesis as well. All right. So what we have done is we've taken this shot with our twin flash. All right. You can use any flash of your choice. you can use a twin flash you can use a ring flash i'll put the information off so you can see it better i think it's looking much better now right so it's it's very easy to take such a shot uh you must have seen all these pictures on facebook um people say wow and stuff but it it's it's hardly going to take any time for you to take pictures like these it's very very simple to take it hardly takes any time uh um, it's effortless but it still has a wow factor so please do this for all the processes if you want to keep a good documentation and 
wow is the reaction that you want from your uh, students or colleagues or whatever you want all right um, settings would remain the same for all the pictures uh, if you can appreciate i'm not touching my camera at all i don't play with my camera settings at all so my shutter is the same that's shutter speed of 1 by 200 iso 100 and it's essentially 32 because i work with uh, i want a very deeper depth of field i don't play with my camera settings at all so my basic concept is <clears throat> keep the f number as high as you want and if the image is bright you can reduce the flash power if the image is dark you can increase the flash power and uh, trust me you can do that not only on your ring flash but you can do it on the twin flash studio light as well as your uh, inbuilt flash as well so increasing or decreasing the power is very much possible uh, in case you are not able to reduce the flash power you can use diffusers like you can uh, put something like a barrier which is going to diffuse the amount of light so there'll be less intensity so if what is going to happen is if i remove this it's going to be more bright image if i put this on it's going to be a little more more dark image which is very very simple for uh, all of you all to understand so we have finished uh, two pictures right now one with a full black background and one with a black background with a uh, uh, reflection what if you have a bigger prosthesis what if you have a bigger prosthesis for example of this size how do i get a picture of you must have seen uh, malo bridges and all right so they uh, so this is the thing that's kept uh, this, is, this is how the prosthesis is almost like a full arch and you want a prosthesis like that so a mirror as small as this is uh, not going to help you much because it becomes very difficult um, you might not get a complete reflection so what do you do it in that case is you buy something called as a flexi glass sheet flexi glass sheet is nothing but uh, an acrylic sheet so what kind of flexi glass sheet do we want we want a black color highly polished acrylic sheet or flexi glass sheet which is around 3 mm in thickness so that it does not bend so minimum 3 mm thickness you can buy 4 mm 5 mm 6 mm however you want but it should be black in color and it should be highly glossy uh, unfortunately i haven't got any flexi glass on me right now but there is one more way i can achieve this uh, i'm not going to get a perfect perfect reflection but i'm going to get a very subtle reflection and you will be amazed to see um, how it works so let's go ahead and see uh, what i'm going to do next uh, till the time i set it up i would request you all to please start a uh, watch party so that even others can uh, get benefited from this what i'm going to be showing you so my camera settings are all set uh, my flash power is constant i'm not playing a lot with my flash power uh, but now i'm going to be considering a uh, bigger prosthesis so i say my prosthesis is as big as a full arch so how do i take care of this situation all i need is a bigger platform and the only bigger platform that i can think at this point of time is my tab so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be removing my tab i'm going to be using it as a platform so i've removed my tab i just have to clean it once so since i don't have a black color shining flexiglass sheet this also works so even this is a black color background um, which is going to reflect quite a bit uh, so i'm going to be keeping my prosthesis on the tab and uh, because the prosthesis is fairly large in size and I'm going to be taking a picture of the prosthesis like that okay I think my prosthesis might just fall so I'm going to be keeping it slightly diagonally I would prefer to have some help over here uh, but since I'm all alone I'm going to be managing the situation on my own I'm going to be doing the same thing I'm going to be going as down as I can and I'm going to be taking a picture <coughs> yeah so what I'm doing now is I have reduced my magnification because the procedure is fairly large and I'm going to take the shot like this ok so as soon as any of the teeth is sharp I'll go ahead and I take the shot let us see how the image is looking so I'll be taking the tab in my hand for all of you all to see. 
Yeah, the screen of the iPad can be used. Hi, Frederick. Um, it's amazing to have you on my Facebook Live. So this is what uh, we're gonna be getting. If you have a larger processor, you can use a flexi glass sheet or even the uh, tab that you have. So this is gonna be. Uh, so this is also a very good uh, platform for taking good pictures. So you don't have to get hyper that you don't have a flexi glass sheet. Even if you don't have a mirror, you can use a tablet or any kind of a black, highly polished surface to get pictures like this. And it looks amazing. So since this is without a sort box, it's looking quite opaque. But if I would have taken this same picture with this sort box, the image would look quite pleasing. So let, let us see if it uh, gives a better result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same shot, uh, but with my sort box right now. Sortbox, you can say it is synonymous to a studio light. So let's just go ahead, keep the typhoid on or my Malo bridge in the same place. But my light source is going to be this guy, this big guy over here. So let me get it down slightly so the light falls on the processes. Yeah, so I believe the light is going to fall on the processes, nothing to worry. Yeah, and I'm going to go down at the angle has to be really perfect. So I'm going to go really low so that I'm at the level of the teeth and I'm going to take the picture. Yeah, what I'm doing is since my tripod is, uh, my light stand is a still little high for my table, I'm going to hold it and bend it down so that uh, the light actually falls on the Malo bridge or the typhoid dot on this case. And I'm going to go ahead and take the shot. Oops, I did not put the speed light on. So I'm going to be putting the speed light on. My speed light has slept because I did not use it for a long time. So those speed lights uh, sleep because you've not used them for a long time. So I just put it on again. And I'm going to putting, I'm going to be putting the light on the typhoid on now. Okay, maybe the mode has changed. Let me check. So you can see that I've stopped getting a blue color light that I was getting before. In the sense, my sync has stopped. I need to figure out why my flash is suddenly not syncing with my uh, trigger. So funny things do happen and it's happening live. So what do I do in this case? Uh, since my trigger has suddenly stopped uh, working, I don't know what's wrong with my trigger. Uh, is there any other way I can fire my sword box? The answer is yes. Yesterday I told you guys that um, I can fire this light if it is on slave mode, uh, provided I have a um, speed light on this, provided I had a pop-up flash on this. So unfortunately since I use a professional light, that's a professional camera, I don't have a pop-up flash so I cannot fire this. I need to have a trigger only, alright. But I still have my 700D. So 700D when it fires, even this is going to fire with it. But right now, uh, this has started working because I am getting a blue color light. Uh, it is in sync, I don't know what happened to it suddenly. So let us just take a shot with this first and then I'm going to show how to use it on slave mode as well. Right, so I have the entire setup ready. Yeah. And as soon as I see a couple of teeth sharp, I'm going to be going and taking the shot. So let me get the tablet to all of you all so that you all can see the difference between both the light sources. So this was with uh, the twin flash and then I got this shot which was a fail shot and I got two fail shots actually. This is the second fail shot and this is with the studio light. You can see it looks much more gorgeous as compared to the twin flash. So this is with the studio light or the soft box. You can see how smooth the effect is and if you want to compare the twin flash, um, this is this is the twin flash this is the result of the twin flash and this is the result of the studio light 
this looks much better as compared to uh, twin flash this is the twin flash okay you can get very uh, all kinds of different different effects if you use sort boxes in different different directions